welcome to my video. Today I'm going to be talking about pocket fountain pens and whether or not they're suitable for the notoriously small pen loops on the Filofax. My preferred writing instrument is a fountain pen and this is the fountain pen I have used the most. It is a Pilot Metropolitan. It's a really great pen. It writes really nicely. I have it in a couple of colors. Actually, there you go, there's the second one. I also have a couple of Caveco Sports when it comes to on the go journaling in my Filofax. None of these pens really work because they're just too thick for the pen loops. The workaround that I have currently in my Filofax is I've made this little pen loop insert with a loitch turn pen loop. That means that I can take a bigger fountain pen with me. That's great. Look, you can just see, just there's no way that that is gonna fit in there. Recently I picked up not one but two <laughs> pocket fountain pens to try. This is the Otto Tache, not Tache. It's very small and when it's posted, it becomes a full size pen. So that's really great, obviously, What's most important here for us is that the barrel is quite slim. And I've also picked up this one, which is the Curveco Lilliput. This is in black. So again, that screws off there, screws on here. Really durable pocket pen. Not as long as the um, auto when posted, but both of them are very slim pens. So, Let's see how they go in the Filofax pen loop. This is the Caveco. And that fits in there fine. It can go all the way through quite easily. There's a little bit of resistance when we, once we get to the cap. And that's how it looks when it's closed. Very small pen. The next one is the Otto also fits in. A little bit more resistance on that one. And then obviously, we've got the clip here. So that's gonna stop that from going anywhere. And we'll see how that looks when it's closed. I have to say, for the for the security of having the clip, I think I like the auto better currently. I have ordered the clip for the Caveco Lilliput though. So maybe once we have the clip, this will become my preference. I'm quite surprised at how much I do like this um, auto pen. This is a personal size Finsbury. I'm gonna show you how these pens fare in a smaller Filofax. So here I've got my mini Finsbury. Yeah, you have to give it a little push, but the auto fits. And look how perfect it is. The size for the mini, that's so cute. And then the Caveco Lilliput. Fits in there a little bit easier. A perfect size actually for the mini. How nice to be able to have a fountain pen in this mini size. Now I have recently moved out of my Finsbury Slim line. So I'm just gonna see how these pens fare up in this as well. A Little bit more resistance on the lily put there to the point where actually I probably would feel quite safe using this in here without the clip. And if we try the older Teish, Teish, Teche, ah. It's gonna irritate me, I need to find out how to say that. If anyone knows how to say <laughs> the name of this fountain pen correctly, please leave a comment. <laughs> and that again fits very securely. And I like the profile with the slim line. Now, both of these pens write very nicely. I'll just show you here on a little bit of Midori paper. So this is the auto Um, in this pen currently, if you're interested, I have the Karan Dash Chromatics in Ultra Violet. This pen writes incredibly smoothly. So trying the Caveco Lilliput. So this is, this seems to be finer than the Autotache. Perhaps the Autotache is a medium nib. It doesn't say anywhere on it. So this is the Caveco Lilliput in fine. Caveco Caramel. 
background. I know that people talk about there being issues with the Caveco nibs, but this one, I haven't had any issues with. This one seems to write really lovely. So that is the two pocket pens that I have found to fit into the pen loops on my Filofax. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and perhaps check out the rest of my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely day. Bye.